Hey everybody, I care sure welcome back to the Long Dark Stalker Custom. Season 1, episode 55. We back here at the uh, Trapper Homestead. And um, we have the Moose Satchel. It's been quite a while because I had to uh, take a break from this. Play episode 4 of uh, Story Mode. And then I uh, was feeling not feeling great for a few days. And then I had a uh, training class I had to go to for the last three days. Um, and it was incredibly boring. ICS 300 class. Yeah, that was rough. That was a rough one right there. Um, three days that they could have probably packed into about one day, maybe even half a day. But man, it's taught by like, it's, it's put on by like FEMA and it's supposed to be like disaster response. Oh, it was just torturous, man. Everybody agreed. Oh, I don't even know where to begin. It was bad. They're supposed to teach you how to be organized and efficient in an emergency and how to how to use mutual aid and uh, teamwork. So it's, it's, it's morning time here. Oh, let me see how much water I got. Not much. But uh, it's kind of ironic because, it, of course, now everybody's making you print out your own course materials. They don't provide that anymore. They're under the guise of, well... We don't want to, you know, it's all because of COVID. Everything was, is, everyone being lazy in the workplace is now because of COVID. Stores not staying open as late as they used to, COVID. This, that, and the other, COVID. Um, let me see, I'm going to do it on calories. Pretty good. We got the, we got the well-fed, but yeah, we do have the well-fed bonus going on. Um, I think I kind of want to start cooking up some water real quick, unless I have that's all the water I had? Yeah, we need to cook up some water. We need to do a water sesh. So, maybe I'll go click some wood real quick. Let me see if I can scrounge around here and see what we got. But, like, they sent an email with our course handbook that we we're going to need. 200 pages, right? It was in 10 different files, and they didn't tell you what order to put them in. So, it was up to you to print out these 10 different files. Oh, and there are no page numbers. There's, there are page numbers, but they're like AM 100 or 1 through 80, and they're like SM 1 through 120 or something. Some of them didn't have anything at the bottom. So, oh yeah, we got plenty of wood. Okay, let's go ahead and do a uh, cook sesh. But, so I did the best I could, try to put them in the right order. Everybody else did in the class, and we were all completely lost on them on what page we're supposed to be on. So it took us five minutes just to figure out what page the instructor was on with the slide. Um, we did a pretest, and then the instructor promptly started to uh, grade our pretest with the incorrect pretest in his hand. So, yeah. Um, they didn't want us using acronyms, which is normal for NIMS, National Incident Management System, I think is what it stands for. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do the torch trick if I have a torch. I don't think I have a torch. Let me check. I got a flare. Got that. Uh, oh, ooh, I do have a torch. Uh, wait. Do I have tinder? Let me check here. I want to simulate making a fire. I'm not actually going to do it. So they don't want you using jargon or acronyms because you might have outside agencies like public works and fire department and outside maybe police agencies and search and rescue groups and things like that helping you using the same radios. Of course, if you're using 10 codes, they have no idea what you're talking about. Or if you're using sig you know, the sheriff's office signal codes, they have no idea what you're talking about. No tinder. Okay, we're going to need to make some tinder here. Um, probably have some sticks. If not, we'll go get some real quick. Which was brilliant. You know, that makes a lot of sense. And that's why I've, in, I've gotten into the habit on the radio, except for like some sensitive codes like... Um, codes for like rape or sexual assault and uh, dead body, things like that. I try to use the codes for that just because you know you don't want to really be advertising that over the air. So any more than you have to. But um, everything else I try to use, I use plain English. Like when I say traffic stop, I don't say signal 31 or you know, 31. I just say uh, traffic stop. Yeah, 1204, traffic stop. So um Anyway, I don't think we have any sticks. I'm getting distracted. Oh, yeah, we do. Nope, that's the wrong kind of stick. I need to drop those if I want to be here for a minute. 
Yeah, we need to go get some regular sticks. Okay, let me drop those real quick. So while he's explaining this, he says, uh, how does he put it? Let me think about how he actually said this. Um, so we probably want to get away from using jargon. Probably a good idea to get away from using jargon and acronyms in your IAP. I'm like, did you just seriously use an acronym in the same sentence where you're telling us not to use acronyms? They can't help it, man. They can't, the federal government, they can't help it. They got to use acronyms. And the worst thing is when in the texts, uh, in the slides, they don't define what the acronym is when they introduce it to you in the material. They don't like put it in parentheses like, you know, <laughs> like, uh, DPW, they don't necessarily put in next to it, Department of Public Works or anything like that. They just assume that everyone knows. I don't know what all those acronyms are for all the different fire engines and uh, ladder trucks and heavy rescues and blah, blah, blah from the fire department. They have got a million different uh, tankers and they got a million different freaking uh, types of vehicles. I don't know what all those are. I'm not a firefighter. It took me a second to figure out what a BLS and an ALS unit was. I was like, oh. Um, basic life support and advanced life support for, for medic units. But they didn't define that. And, you know, I, like, dang, for a bunch of people that will want, are trying to teach us not to use acronyms, you guys sure are heavy on it. It's ridiculous. Anyway, that was the class. So for for a bunch of people trying to teach us about efficiency and uh, how to be uh, clear and concise, it was it was a disaster. But I managed to pass the final test with a ninety percent. So I got an A, an A minus. But I'll take it. I'll move on. And then I got to go in January and take the. 400 level class and then I'm done hopefully for the rest of my career and honestly it's stuff I'm never going to use it's like management level stuff like upper management you know incident control command that sort of stuff um where's that it's probably let's, let's just skip over here and cheat make some tinder plugs and I was supposed to be off today but I had to go to class today so I'm, I'm flexing off one of my days next week instead. I'm going to go ahead and harvest a second one since we don't have our fire skill quite high enough to get away without using tinder. I don't... Yeah, we... I think I still require tinder, right? Because it had an X there. Otherwise, it would be grayed out, like not necessary. So I think we're, we should be good now, for sure. So, yeah, that just sort of jacked me up. Being not feeling well and... uh and that really sort of jacked me up. Plus the uh, event, the uh, story mode chapter coming out. That really delayed. Put a delay between uh, episode 55 coming out to this series. There we go. Do I need it? No, I don't need it. Ah, oh well. It gave me time to tell you all about... Uh, my brain's fried from dealing with that all all, all the last, uh, what, three days. Now, I will say that there was a guy in the class who was with the National Guard... And he was also, I think, a firefighter as well. But he w used to be in uh, the wild wildlands or whatever out west. He used to fight fires when it was like forest fires in Utah and things like that. He brought in a, a sample of what theirs looked like. Well, not a sample, but an actual copy of the ones that they used fighting a wildfire out there. And that was impressive, seeing how they allocated resources and Stuff like that. I kind of wish that guy just got up and taught to class from his wildlife experience. And uh, 
our event that we were simulating through the whole three days was a big ma- a major snow event, like a big snow system settling in on the area, trying to set up warming stations, clearing roads, rescuing people stranded on the side of the highway, um, and just sort of managing that whole tabletop thing. But yeah, anyway, um, I get so distracted when I start talking about work. There's a few other cops in there, and we're all like, uh, we just basically say, sir, yes, sir, and we go do what we got to do to, you want us to go evacuate that block? We'll go do that. But, um, yeah, we're not going to be there uh, talking to a liaison about getting additional resources from from uh, from the National Guard or from FEMA or, or, you know, stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm done. I'm going to stop talking about that. So we're going to focus on uh, something more exciting. We're going to watch uh, snow turn into water and then water turn into clean water and uh, go from there. I might, uh, I think I'm going to, let's see what, what skill we want to work on. Because that's our next thing is basically where carcass harvest is at five. We want to level all these up to five if possible. I don't see why we can't. I probably will I don't know if I'll do gunsmithing or not. I have to go all the way back out to Bleak Inlet and it's just painted. But I might skip gunsmithing. Uh, because all I do is just basically make bullets until I hit level five and I'd be like, Oh, done mission accomplished. But I think all the rest of them, I'm going to go for five. Uh, cause that one would just be a time suck basically. So fire starting ice fishing. I think we're going to get started on some fishing and then next one's going to be archery. And, uh, yeah, we'll go from there, but that should be a good time. But first we need to get some water. And uh, I need to take a look here. We're, car- we're we're running a little bit heavy. Can I? That's a shooting guy. That will help with uh, rifle fire, which is a four. And uh, maybe this will. Oh, it would be so close, wouldn't it? Oh, we need to find another gunsmithing book. <laughs> I could do that just through uh, reading. All right. Well, man, I don't really want to search for a gunsmithing book either. Okay. That's so cool. Well, we could round up. I guess we could round up there. All right, let me go ahead and drop some more stuff here. So we got a cured deer hide here. How are we doing on clothing when it comes to deer hides? 93%. Pretty good. What about the shoes? 64. We can, yeah, we could repair that. Let's go ahead and grab that. And uh, I don't know how long it's going to take to repair. Probably need a cured gut. Not sure. I don't think I don't think I need a workbench to do a simple repair. No, I won't. Not for the boots. Yep, cured gut, deer hide. It's going to take an hour and sixteen minutes, which should be about right with seventeen minutes until melted, and then another. Yep, that'll work. We can do that. Hopefully, we don't lose it. Hopefully, we actually are successful. I don't think it's going to boil dry. Of course, I'm telling you, my, my brain's fried. This might be an interesting episode. There might be many accurized moments, as uh, someone likes to put it. So there we go. Yeah, we have plenty of time. All right, let's do another batch. See what else we can re- repair while we're sitting here. Yeah, still good on... Get some of that down our gullet there. It's funny because uh, I was like, oh, no, I'm not going to talk about it anymore. I don't want to talk about the class anymore. We could just go on for the entire episode talking about that stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and repair these up. Get them up to 80. These right here, if possible. If we have the cloth to do so, we might as well. Yep. There we go back. Pair that up. Ah, uh, we don't have the cloth. Eh, we gotta have some curtains around here or something, don't we? We gotta have some cloth around here. Yes, right here. What's this? Can I get that off? The... It won't let me take that off the table. It's hanging down there. Look at that. Teasing me. What about this? Nope. Uh, nothing in there. It's empty. Are we? We're seriously? I could get some cloth if I tore this up. Oh, it won't let me. Won't let me tear, tear that chair up? Is that it? Is, there, is this cloth? No, it's cured leather. Okay. What's in here? Cloth? Deer or rabbit pelts. Ooh, might want to make a rabbit pelt hat. 
I don't have one of those yet, do I? Do I? No. You guys want to make a rabbit pelt hat? We have the mittens, don't we? No, we still got work gloves. We could do both. I don't think we have enough for both, but we could get started on... Well, no, nope, that's a bear hide. Okay. Oh, wait, we got two here. We might. Is it two and two? Checking. Checking, checking, checking. No, right there it is. I just saw it, rabbit. Where was it? I'm flipping through this too fast. It's alphabetical. I don't know why I have a hard time finding it. Yeah. Oh, well, it takes four to make a... It takes four to make some mittens. It takes three to make the hat. We'll make the hat first. I have five cured guts on me. Okay. Well, let's... Let's get started on this. There we go. Oh, I had, I had tinder plugs in there. I didn't have to go running around. And I didn't need them anyway, so I can get rid of those as well. Nope. Oh, someone forgot to silence their phone. How dare you. Okay. Rabbit skin hat. Yeah, 3.5 hours. Uh, let's see how much... 39 minutes until boil. That's going to be perfect. We can, we can get a half hour in at least. There we go. Nice. Three hours. It's midday. Six minutes until boiled. Speed that along a little bit. And yeah, we're going to be here for three hours anyway. Might as well, might as well boil up some more. I want to drop some water. Oh, there's water right at my feet the whole time. That's okay. We needed more. That wasn't enough. This is going to be a lot better. This will definitely make me feel a lot better. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's do another batch. We're going to be here anyway. Might as well do it. And let's continue making this hat. Oh, yeah. I need to make some fishing line and get some hooks going, too. We should probably have some hooks in the uh, in the drawer, but I probably need to craft some more too. Where was it at? Where's my? There it is. Keep losing it. That's gonna be forty-five and forty-five, I think. Let's go for an hour and a half. Oh, did my fire go out? I think my fire went out. It did. That was a mistake. Not even close. <laughs> it's still snow. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, start up another fire here. This probably will do it for this torch. Well, getting practice uh, starting fires at least. I don't know. Just randomly grab a wood. wood. It doesn't really matter to me. And get this started before it goes out. I wonder... If while I'm starting the fire, it's actually ticking down the health of the torch, like right now, or if it kind of pauses it during this Come animation, I guess we'll know if it like the torch doesn't work anymore. Perfect. Yeah, I think the torch is done. Yeah, it's gone. So I think I think uh, if we go into our inventory here, it should be like scrap wood at this point. Yeah, I got lots of stuff I can definitely drop. It's no longer here. So there it is. Got that. Worthless torch. 43. Alright, so 43 and 43. That should do it. Oh, hold on. Almost did it again. My brain is fried. There we go. Seven hours. Alright. Overkill now. Cause who cares, honestly? I got I got credit for that little bit of time that I worked right there, so that's good. Even though I interrupted it, I'll take it. Good timing. Here. We got ourselves a nice hat now. Yay! Yay! Which one's better? Sixty-nine. Yeah, let's replace that one. Ah, looking much better. 
Wait, am I almost wrapped in furs? I need to get the gloves, don't I? To get the wrapped in furs achievement. I don't know if I've ever gotten that. Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. I'm going to keep working here. Maybe make a whole bunch of hooks and lines and fishing and tackle and things like that. Is that it? I can't. Yeah, I only have one of those left. Cured bear hide. Five guts. Okay. Well, let's drop what we have here. The, the things that we have here that we don't need to be carrying around. How are we doing on uh, lantern fuel? Yeah, we could go ahead and uh, fill that up. Right quick. A little bit over halfway full. So there we go. Now we're full. Go back. We'll go ahead and drop this here. Do I have two? I was carrying around two of those? Wow. Okay. I don't need to be carrying these cans either. Mm -hmm. Extra pot. I, I'll keep a pot with me. I guess. But I, I want to really take most of this stuff over to the uh, regular camp office. Yeah, some extra ammo. Oh, this is just in this section. That's right. Let's do the whole thing. Organized by uh, weight. Carrying around a lot of water. Let's drop some more of that. There we go. Yeah, I'll, I'll carry the wood over there and the coal. That's fine. I'm going to set up my uh, my little fishing staging area over at the camp office, obviously, because they're so close to the fishing huts. Two hacksaws, okay. Um, these I'll take with me. And uh, cured deer hide. Yeah. This better be cured. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be stinky running around. Don't need those. Oops, cancel that. I think I'm carrying around the extra hat I don't need. Yeah, let's get rid of that. Is that Frank? Oh, no. That's just a... Must be a different... Yeah. The condition's different. That's why it separated it out. Plus... Oh, no. It's weight. It's... Yeah. The condition's different, so it's separate. And then the weight is less, so it dropped it down here. That's a little confusing. Three stems. In case we get in a really bad situation with a bear. Here's a hook already. So I'll grab what I can here before I leave. And we'll get back there around dark. And uh, yeah, we'll get some good good sleep. Make sure I eat something as well. Have that well fed bonus. Might as well. Got all the uh, melted. Okay. Is this all I have in here? Oh, okay. That's all I have in here. We'll take the bear hide back. It's amazing that it only weighs. One pound or one kilogram, and uh, oh, that's a rabbit pelt. I thought it was a, that was a wolf pelt weighing the point one kilogram. I'm like, wow, that's really light. Transfer all those. How are we doing on repair kits? I think we're good on those. Yeah, we got two of those, both at twenty. I tell you what, we'll swap those out, and yeah, we'll take the seventy-five percenters right there, back home. Leave that stuff here. Good enough. Five minutes until melted. Uh, we can go ahead and do... Uh, think, let me think. Pretty sure we have a quality tools back home. Marine flare here. This pack is getting kind of heavy. What was in here? Just, oh yeah, crappy vest. I think how I can get some metal around here. I don't think there's anything I can really chop up. Can't cut up the safe. Um, let me think. Uh, I have because I, I have like two hacksaws. I could cut up metal if it was here, but I don't see anything. Let's see if I can make a line. I can. Oh, and I cured guts. Uh, yeah, and then I got the one fishing hook. So might as well start doing this. Because I think we have plenty of guts back at the uh, camp office. Anyway. So it's 15 minutes. Let me see where we're at here. Okay, let's do another batch. No, not fishing tackle. More line.
Yeah. One more. We'll grab something to eat and then we'll start walking before I get too tired. I think this will be the last batch of, of water, even though I got another four hours on the stove. Drink it. Take it off at the same time. I wonder if I can drop it. Honestly, that should give you a, a warming bonus right there because you're drinking it coming right off of the heat like that. Yeah, it's going to be at the top. So I'm trying to get rid of a little bit of here. There we go. Might do another boil ses uh, session back at the uh, camp office. All right, I think we're good. Man, yeah, let's go ahead and get going. I think I can actually, I think I can probably harvest those. Can I? I don't know why you couldn't. In the metal? I don't really ever mess with those. Use? No, won't let you harvest. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay, let's get going. As long as the weather's decent. Grab something to eat here before we go. We'll fill our, fill our stomachs up here. Yeah. Looks good. Wonderful. Alright, do we have some left over? No decoys. Perfect. Okay, so we ate it all. Wonderful. Another drink. And then we'll start moving. Wind's uh, blowing our scent the wrong way, but it'll help us with our travels nonetheless. Right, hold on. Stand by. Let me do a reload here and pick up the brass. Just so that we're ready to go. Wrong key. I always find it entertaining when I am completely out of it and I try to play this game. Uh, where'd it go? Did I just load one in? I think I just loaded one in. Because you eject it when you fire, right? Yeah, I just want to make sure. Okay. Alright. So, I'm going to go up here and sort of take the long way around. Well, not really long, but the safest way around here. You know, head on back here and get some rest and maybe get some fishing in in the morning. Hello. Uh, <sighs> you thought I forgot about it. <laughs> well. Yeah, you were right. I forgot about it. I just happened to stumble on it. Get my pistol out here just in case. Just in case. People want to be not so, or not people, but things want to be not so friendly to me. Really starting to get back into the hunter again. I go in cycles with that game, it seems like. But uh, I think the more casual approach to it, the way I'm doing it, is uh, it's a lot more fun. I just kind of sit down, pick a pick a place, and go for it. I've been enjoying that. There's another game that just came out, and it was Crime Machine or something like that. Crime, I can't remember what it is, but it's like a isometric. Like sort of a third person detective game it looks pretty interesting I think that after I get done playing this I'm gonna go check it out read some reviews on it if it's if they're saying it's good I'll go ahead and buy it and uh, share it with you guys because I know my channel is supposed to be all about survival and stuff like that but I do go off the reservation occasionally if a game is extremely fun and interesting to me or especially for crime games just because of my my background 
You guys seem to like to watch me play true crime games and get stumped. And I'm gonna go this way. This is the old way I used to travel between the two, these two locations. So I'm gonna go back this way. I don't think I'm stinky or anything. Yeah. Now there is a wolf we gotta be a little cautious about down here sometimes. Sometimes he's there, sometimes he's not. I'm just gonna keep an eye out for movement down there around the stumps. Those are all like clear cut sort of stumps. And uh don't have to worry about sprain risk, I have it disabled. This particular playthrough. Unlike uh, story mode where I was snapping my little brittly ankles every time I took a step as soon as I got 0.1 kilograms encumbered. I can't remember the name of the game, but it, yeah, it's pretty good. Also, I've been playing Ride 4, which is completely, you know, when I wasn't feeling good, I was playing that, because I, you know, I wouldn't, do, I had a sort of a sore throat, like a raspy throat type thing, and I didn't, I, I just couldn't talk a whole lot. I'd end up having a coughing fit. So, played that, and uh, that's a really cool game. It's like it's like the motorcycle version of Gran Turismo. I wish I just wish it was in VR, because <laughs> the graphics are amazing. And the, this I, I've always liked Project Cars too, and Assetto Corsa, things like that in VR. Because you can, I mean, you can actually get out of the car and go walk around and like look at the suspension and see how everything works. It's just amazing looking in VR, and the sense of speed and the depth that perception that you get with VR, like uh, you get to really feel your brake points better. It's really good, and I can imagine ride ride four would be amazing like that. But uh, yeah, it's not in VR, unfortunately. I think this game would be pretty cool in VR. Once you got past the, uh, once you got your VR legs for uh, first person controls like this. I know that there's a little hack out there and I messed with it and I got in the game and it was pretty rough. Um, I have a really strong stomach when it comes to VR, but it was even rough on me. Cause nothing really seems to bother me as far as motion sickness or anything like that and uh, this game was a little rough doing keyboard and mouse for the movement like this I'll take that I'm gonna be doing some archer well that was a rather Uneventful. No, I haven't made it there yet. Better not get too cocky about it. Quite yet. I think we're good, though. There we go. What's the temperature on here? Oh, for me, it feels like 12 degrees Celsius. Which ain't too bad. Ain't too bad, even though right now the wind chill's down to like what negative eleven. Oh, um, yeah, I got my new motorcycle, uh, the 2012. I don't know if I mentioned it in other videos. Yeah, 2012. Um, R 1200 RT, the BMW, the sport tour. Well, not really sport tour, but more like a tour. It's a sport tour, I guess, kind of. Not really. But man, that thing is amazing. So comfortable. Heated seats, heated grips, adjustable, like electronically adjustable windscreen, cruise control. I went out riding in it when it was like just with my, lo like not even heated, uh, heated clothing when it was like 39 degrees Fahrenheit outside. We still got a lot of food left. It's not, no, we can, we can fix that. Don't worry. We can fix all that. Just because it says ruined. Um, yeah, I rode for like an hour. And, uh, 
at about 60, 65 miles an hour down the state route. And I was fine. Now my hands were a little bit chilly on the, on the knuckles. The, the, my palms were roasting, um, which was nice, but the, the outside of my knuckles were a little chilly, but I was wearing my summer gloves, uh, when I was riding. So if I put on my winter gloves, I, I'm sure I would have been fine. Other than that, really nice. I'm going to get some uh, heated gear. I'm, I'm thinking about hot wired or, uh, what else is there? First gear, first gear. You know what it's called? I think first gear in the Gerbering or something like that. I'm debating those three. Oh, we got plenty of simple tools. Unfortunately, I don't think we have any quality tools. I left that back at the uh, uh, Trapper Homestead. No big deal. Cured guts. Not a. Oh yeah, there's more down here. Okay, still we can do better. But uh, lots of books here. I th think we've already read this one. We haven't. <gasps> I think this will do it. I think we can do it just on reading alone. You guys want to do some reading tonight? I think so. We can maybe get an hour in. Plenty of food, plenty of water. A little bit of daylight. I'm going to go outside to read. So we'll sit out here on the porch and... Or stand out here on the porch and read. About gunsmithing. <laughs> so if I do that one, then that's the same amount of hours. Yeah, we're going to get to level 5 here. Just from reading. Let's just do the one hour here. I don't think we're going to get that much more daylight. Look for shelter. Yeah, we just just got one hour of reading in. Yeah, looks like everything calmed down. Okay, let's head on inside. Uh, next question is, do we have water here? I'm going to check the floor for sure. <laughs> Forgot to uh, do that in the last... Oh yeah, it's going to be too dark for me to see. I'm going to have to bust out the old lantern. Now I want to see if I have any uh, jerry cans here too, or if I should have maybe taken one with me. Oh yeah, we got two. Okay, we're good. We're good here. We got uh, and that's going to be a third hacksaw now at this point. Okay. Yeah, I don't think we have enough room for to put both of these hacksaws in here. Maybe the uh, feathers. We can add that probably to our feathers. Got lots of arrow shafts, lots of arrowheads. Good. Got some fishing tackle. We got eight hooks. Oh, okay. We're going to be in good shape. So I think what I'll do here is I'll go ahead and craft up. I think I can craft fishing tackle at night. We'll find out. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm not too. I'm not worried about water right now. We have enough to make it probably two days. So let's see if we can do the fishing tackle. If it'll, it's going to take 10 minutes. It won't take that long. Is it going to stop me? Nope. It's going to let me do it. I need another hook. Well, dude, there's hooks in here. I wish it would automatically. If there's anything inside the drawer or on top of the. Uh, Heck, anything in the immediate area would be nice of the uh, workbench. There we go. Take that line as well. All right. Yeah, it's going to let me craft basically through the night. I'm really exhausted, so we'll sleep well. That's okay. These only take 10 minutes to do, but I'm going to get a lot of fishing tackles lined up because I have a feeling... I can't remember what it was at. What was that? Two? We're probably going to be breaking quite a few of these until we skill up. We might have a book we can read, too. So, yeah, we can read books and we can fish and got lots of things we can do. We can go hunting with the bows. We can make some arrows. All kinds of stuff. All kinds of homesteading type stuff here. One more hook left here, I think is what it said. Is it a hook or a line? No, it was line. Okay. So well, we've got quite a few of those now. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's going to be under here, I think. Yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more of those, which we can easily make later, but we're good. All right, let's go ahead and drop the branches or any. Um, all right, I'm trying not to drop them on top of other ones, but it's really hard to see, and I don't feel like using. The lantern right now. That's cured. That's cured. I'm dropping them right on top of each other. That's probably not the best idea. Oh, you know what? This is stupid. Hold on. Pick that one up. Pick that one up. Leave that one. 
Let me drop the one that needs cured. Okay, so it's on the ground. These will fit really easily inside the uh, drawer, I think. Right? No, it's hard to see because it's hard for me to see as well. Charcoal. Why do I have that in there? Get that out of there. Okay. I should be able to... We're not ready to repair this yet. It's at 89% still. The bear coat, so... I want to start thinking about making a bear bedroll, though. Of course, I don't know if I'll ever even use it, honestly. One, five. Yeah, we can make that fit. Ah, almost. So close. What if I take these two out? Now it'll fit? Oh, yes. Okay. There we go. Wonderful. Um... I will go ahead and turn on the lantern since we're heading upstairs. Can't believe they took Carl out of the cabin. So sad. Miss Carl. Used to sit right there. Sometimes he'd be there for me, sometimes he wouldn't. Jeez, I forgot how much stuff we have. Survival bow is ready to go. Man, my goodness. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of water. Okay. Well, tomorrow we are fishing. check here. I don't need to eat anything, but I will go ahead and drink. Probably be eating some fish is what we'll try to do next. Get our cooking skill up to level five, then we can start cooking that bear meat out front and eating that with impunity. Uh, in the meantime, let's go ahead and get some sleep. We'll sleep for 12 for sure. Uh, only use not even, a, not even half of what we have in our stomach. All right, there we go. Morning, 91 days, 5 hours, 16 minutos. Some cloth we can use in a pinch. I'm sure there's probably a curtain. Maybe not. There's a, there's a blanket we can use too, the red, red blanket. Like, yeah. All right, let's go do some, let's do, go do some uh, camping. I got a uh, head. I mean, I want to take, hmm, do I want to take the heavy hammer? I don't think so. 44 pounds. Cured gut, cured gut. We can drop those guts. We don't need to be carrying those. I need something to drink and soon. I'll drop it over here. Not that they're super heavy, but drop that over there. Do a little bit of offloading, not much. I think this is where I'm keeping my boom booms. Yeah. Okay. Let's put the gunpowder over there. I guess building noisemakers is going to be uh, noisemakers in survival mode will be added um, by the end of this year. So. We'll keep accumulating this. Um, series might be done by then. We might be starting a new series. Or the challenges, actually, right? We're going to do challenges next. So. Uh, I think I'll just put my shell casing in here. I got flare shells and stuff like this. It's all reloading. This is sort of like my reloading area. Uh, I don't need to carry this much. Honestly. Yeah. We've got so much ammo, it's ridiculous. Okay. Any other boom booms? I don't need to be carrying an extra axe haul. Uh, kind of want to put it up here, I guess. So I don't need to carry two. Or even one at this point. Sewing kits, uh, yeah, I could probably find a better spot for those as well. Yeah, let's drop the gunsmithing books here for now. Because we can't do that while we're fishing. We have to be actively fishing. Like, it, it takes up all of our attention. Can I? Okay. Okay, so let's, uh, let's put these somewhere. You know what? Let's get rid of these stack of papers. Let's put that down here.
Wonderful. All right. Oh, these are all still all need to be ripped. Oops. I thought I was going to put it back. Apparently it didn't. Okay. Where'd it go? Around here somewhere. Did it put it back? No. There it is. Okay. Well, I think these are all still... Yeah. <gasps> Ooh, fishing. That might be worth... Alright. I'll keep that one with me. That one, I might actually read out there. If I feel like I'm breaking too many lines too quickly. I might do that to help level up. But honestly, it shouldn't be that big a deal. Oh, we're dehydrated. I forgot to eat a drink after we woke up after 12 hours of sleeping. Poor Astrid. Alright, there we go. Looking good again. Catch me outside. Wolfies. I don't see any out here right now. Slow to, slow to rise today, I guess. Well, we'll just head on up here to this uh, fishing hut and do some fishing. Morning. Nice day to go fishing, isn't it? Ugh. Can't help it. Coast is clear. I hate it when my monitor isn't quite clean and there's like a speck of dirt on it or something. It looks like it's actually on in the in the game and then it move and it's like, oh yeah, it's it's following me around the everywhere I look. Alright, so it's hundred percent frozen and it's, it's all looks fine. There's nothing I don't think there's anything worthwhile in here. Tinder plug, a little stove. Wonderful. Pry bar, yeah, all right. Um, let's do the pry bar. Yeah, sure. Why not? Guy's okay, getting a little hungry, isn't he? Let's see. Ah, oh, I got stuff to eat. Okay, no big deal. Let's uh, let's fish for three hours here. Checking out my calories. Nice they put the calories there. I like that. During this activity. I don't think we're going to catch any cohos. Whitefish, 549 calories. All right. I think... There we go. Another whitefish, another... 520, it's a little smaller. Smallmouth bass, 994. Awesome. Come on, one more. Eh, that's it. All right, well, we're stinky now. So, drop those. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and eat a little something here. Chocolate bar. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and eat all this. Help take the edge off. And we'll get a drink. We'll go for another three hours. What do you say? Six hours of fishing? Hey, okay, how's our fishing doing anyway? Should have probably looked before we started. Okay, so we're level two. I figure if we read that book, probably get up to about here. Might actually put us into level three. Wait a minute, that's the wrong place. There we go. Fishing time reduced by five. Eight percent chance of line break. So, yeah. How is it out here? Did the wolfies come out or no? Not yet. It's a nice day. Beautiful day. Okay, well, let's do another, uh, yeah, let's do another three hours. Yeah, let's make it four. Hopefully get one more. Going to catch one fish in four hours. The sun is setting. That was pretty slow. It's gonna get a lot colder soon. Ha! Make a run for it. Haha, ha, fishy, fishies. Haha, ha, wolves. 
I've outsmarted all of you. Even though I'm super... St oh, I'm not really that super stinky. I thought I was going to put me at three stinky lines, but... Just two. Still. Enough to draw them from a pretty good distance. Beautiful. Beautiful day. Beautiful evening as well. Alright, let's head on back. Get in here for the night. Cook up these fishies. You know, if this if this wolf over here starts smelling me, he's probably gonna meet me right at my right at my cabin. So I, if he is there, I'm gonna need to move a little bit quicker to beat him to the cabin. He might be beelining it my way right right now. Let's see over this hill right in front of me. If he is. Okay, I think we've been alright. Okay. Never know. Ooh, what's this here? Heck yeah, let's eat that thing. Delicious. There we go. Alright, wonderful. Plenty of wood anyway. I think I was carrying a little bit with me. All right. I got some torches up there, so I don't. I don't think they're. I don't think they're ruined, but uh, maybe they are. It's been so long since we've uh, been back here, so maybe maybe they are. I think they're okay. Torch. Sixteen percent. That'll work. Good enough. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, kill this. Get out our torch. All right, no tinder plug needed. I have wood. I got the. Yeah, I think we're good. Okay. I I thought I was gonna fail starting the uh, the torch. It would be kind of nice if you had the chance to fail lighting the torch. I mean, why is that a guarantee? Oh yeah, we got plenty of jeez. Overkill. Yeah, it's going to do that one. 95% chance of success. Like those odds. Wow, an hour's up almost already. We're at the 52, 53 minute mark. Sort of flew by. Alright, let's go ahead and extinguish that. Let's add a couple more so I don't make the same mistake I did earlier. Letting it burn out. There we go. Yeah, all right. Uh, do I have a pot? I thought I had a pot. Yes, let's put that down. And let's cook a, I don't know, I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. Let's cook one of these. Do the same here. Cook uh, that one, sure. You're about the same, aren't they? Yeah, 27, 28 minutes. Yeah, each, okay. Good stuff. I figure after this we can read for a few hours. Once I cook all these fish up, that there's still fire going. Read for a little while, then get some sleep. Maybe level up that fishing skill. And go out and try it again tomorrow. Rinse and repeat. We'll get really good at fishing. I don't know if I've ever had a level 5 fishing skill. I imagine you're pretty epic at that point. Oh, you like Kevin Van Dam or something. Or my nephew. Yeah, he's pretty good too. All right. All right, let's speed things along. I can't take it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Yeah, we're gonna have some time left over for sure. Wonderful. Good healthy fish. I'm not sure I can carry much more. While we read, might as well cook some more water. So we'll do an hour. And then, uh, I don't think we can, well, yeah, we could probably do two hours and it won't be burned. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's see. I think we'll be okay doing two hours. Unless it cooks faster because of a higher cooking skill. I don't know. 
Oh no, well, let's try two. Let's try. Let's see what happens. I'm probably gonna get stopped due to my thirst, actually. I got one hour done. Okay. If you were really good at controlling your thirst meter, you might be able to actually set it so that it interrupts out of- Well, I guess you could always hit the escape button. Yeah. Never mind. You could just hit escape. So you can get partial credit. I think you get them in hour increments. I don't think it gives you credit for like half hour or anything. Man, this pack is getting pretty heavy. I'm just sort of thinking out loud. That's yeah. Okay, so we have plenty of everything. We've got plenty of f two hours left on the fire. Hmm. Add a little bit more fuel, just just for good measure. You guys, want to make it super hot in here? Oh my gosh, seven coal. Yeah, it's going to get real hot in here. Okay, let's go for two and see if we can, uh... If the water's gone or not. Should be close to being boiled dry, but not quite. Hell yeah, we have plenty of time. Wonderful. One hour, nine minutes. Kind of want to do it again. I say yes. So I want to finish this book off before we go uh, fishing in the morning. Or probably more like the afternoon. Judging by when I'm going to get to sleep here tonight. Okay, let's uh, throw one of these fir woods in there. There we go. Okay, let's finish off the book. Make sure that I have enough calories here. Do I have enough? Yeah, I do. Okay. I know I had enough to drink, but after messing up the first time, I didn't want to take a chance again. Okay, there we go. We'll see if this, uh, this should level us up. Should be level 3 fishing after this. I think. Maybe not. Gotta be close. 50 minutes. I don't think we're going to get any more out of that, and I don't want to use any more wood, so... I'm going to go ahead and drop what we got here and drop the water we have. Let's drop our wood here. Able to carry this load for much longer. Oops. No, 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 no. Put that back on. Hey, interesting. Story mode automatically would have put that on for me. But here, you definitely have to manually put on anything you pick up, clothing-wise. This pack is getting too It did take some getting used to in story mode. Okay, that's good. All right, well, let's eat up some of this fish and get some sleep, and then we'll offload. Oh, that we're carrying around tons of water. That's the problem. I'm getting tired. That's the problem. Well, we're good on water for a while. That's better. <laughs> that's much better. All right, let's fill up our tummy here. We're going to enjoy that fish so much, we're going to go try to get some more to tomorrow. Is that going to be... We had a tiny bit left over, 260. We'll eat that in the morning. Get something to drink. Down to 37. Not bad. Alright, let's get some... Let's get some rest. We're going to... Yeah, we're going to be a little tired tomorrow. So, sorry, not too bad though. All right, folks, I'm looking here at the clock. Ooh, 59 minutes. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Had a lot of fun in this one. I look forward to leveling up this fishing. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. 92 days. All right. Take a quick look and see where fishing is. Ice fishing. Two. We're getting close. We're getting it close there. So maybe tomorrow we'll level it up. I doubt it. Maybe we'll get to about here. But we'll keep going. Maybe do a little archery, too, sometime in the next episode. So I'll see you in the next one. Y'all take care. Thanks for watching.